Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born this night of a pure virgin. Grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the same Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who have lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness for this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Crianius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Children who are in the pews are more than welcome to come join us up here. Any of you in the choir that would like a better view are also welcome to come sit and join your friends on the floor. Up to you. Everyone else may be seated. Today I'm going to tell you a story that starts with some shepherds. Can you remind me what shepherds do? Who knows what shepherds do? They keep sheep away from danger. They do, they keep the sheep away from danger. That's just right. So shepherds work out in the fields and they keep the sheep safe, they keep them warm, and they keep them fed. Away from bears, of course, that's very important. So there was one night, many, many years ago, that the shepherds were taking care of their sheep like they always do, and they tucked the sheep into bed and read them a bedtime story. And I think that story said something about how not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And the sheep drifted off to sleep. And once the sheep were asleep, then the shepherds could go to sleep. So everyone was sleeping soundly on that silent night until suddenly something amazing happened. Who can tell me what these are? 
like a butterfly, who, might, who else might they belong to? An angel. That's right. They're angel wings. I'm going to put them on just for fun. So an angel appeared to the shepherds. And they, because angels can be really big and sparkly and shiny and kind of scary, the angel told the shepherds, don't be afraid. I'm coming to bring you good news. What do you think that good news might have been about? Um, what are we talking about here today? Yeah, what do you think? Jesus being born, that's just right. So the angels came to tell the shepherds that a baby, Jesus, had been born in a manger in Bethlehem. Then around the angels came even more angels. A multitude of the heavenly hosts appeared around the shepherds. And they had some great news to share. They said, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. Can we say that together? Will you repeat after me? Jesus is born. Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. people. Great, y'all are already pros. So the shepherds, once they heard this message, decided they needed to go see about this baby that had been born. So they had their coffee and they packed their snacks and they headed on a road trip. And they arrived at the manger and they saw Mary and Joseph and who else was there? God was there, of course. Who else? Jesus. Of course they were going to see Jesus. And the shepherds, when they got there, shared the message that they had heard. Will you hold that, please? Thank you. (laughs) They said, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. So, so far we've heard... Will you say it with me? First, the angels said, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. And then the shepherds told Mary and Joseph and Jesus and all of the animals in the manger, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. Great job. Everyone was so excited. It was a big celebration in the manger. The shepherds celebrated with Mary and Joseph and the new baby Jesus. And then they headed back on a journey home. Now, the Bible doesn't tell us this part, but I sort of think that the shepherds got home and they taught their sheep this special message. Can you remember what the message is with me? They said, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. But wait a second, sheep don't talk like that. How do sheep talk? Bah. Bah, that's right. So when the sheep declared the message, it probably sounded more like bah, 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 bah. Okay, let's review just to make sure I have the whole story in my head. First, The angels came and they said, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. And then the shepherds said, Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. And then the sheep said, Ba, 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 ba. Great job. (laughs) So that is the story that we get to hear today. And I think that the sheep probably went and told all of their animal friends, and the shepherds went and told all of their human friends, and the message went down through the ages until we get to hear it today. And we get to share this special message with the people we see in our lives too. So we've practiced it here today, and you can go tell other people about it, You can go tell your family all about it when you go back to see them. But this is a message that's for everyone, so we help share it. 
As a reminder, God can find us and share this message with us everywhere. You could be out in the fields taking care of sheep. Maybe you are out in the wilderness on a hike or sleeping in your bed, dreaming of sugar plum fairies. And God will find you with this message. But we get to help share that message. So let's practice one more time. Will you all stand up with me and say it? Yeah, everybody stand up. We all have work to do, not just the kids. Do y'all want to turn around and show everyone who's in the pews so they can see you? Will you turn around and show them? Okay. Let's say it loud enough that all of Fayetteville and maybe even all of Arkansas can hear this great news. What's that? Right. Some of us live in Fayetteville and we want all of Fayetteville to hear the message. Can we say it together? Everybody ready? Okay. Jesus is born. Glory to God. Peace to God's people. Awesome job, everyone. Before you go back to your seats, let's say a prayer together. Can you show me your prayer hands? Almighty God, we thank you for the birth of Jesus, our Savior. We pray that we can spread your glory and peace in all the world with the angels, the shepherds, and the sheep as our guides. Be with us as we celebrate this Christmas. In the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, go share the good news. Stand. I believe we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified, he has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the birth of Jesus Christ, God has filled all of humanity with divine life. Let us raise our prayers of joy and thanksgiving as we offer our supplications to God, saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to God's people on earth. Inspire the church's witness to your good news of great joy for all people, that we may spread the light of Jesus' love to all humanity. We pray especially for Michael, our presiding bishop, and Larry, our bishop, for the Anglican Church in Central America, 
for Trinity Pine Bluff, St. Andrews Rogers, the Iona Initiative in Arkansas, and for our parish clergy and staff, and all our ministries at the Northwest Arkansas Community Corrections Center. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Let your power and compassion guide those who exercise authority on the earth, that they may be servants of peace, bringing comfort and security to all who are vulnerable. We pray especially for Joe, our president, Asa, our governor, and Lionel, our mayor. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Embrace with your eternal protection all our siblings who are vulnerable, especially refugees and the displaced, those threatened by violence or illness, and families with no place to call their home. We pray especially for those who are alone. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Fill this community with hospitality and generosity that we may care for one another and celebrate the joy of your presence in every person. We pray especially for an end to the pandemic, for all who are at risk, and for a spirit of love and mutual concern to guide us all. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Look with favor upon all whom we entrust to your divine grace, especially Peter Bernellis, Mike McConkie, Marion Konetka, Linda Smith, Anne Harbison, Midge Tuhig, Dickie Tynes, Charlie McGregor, Barbara Jackson, Ronnie Bell, Kira Ramsey, and any others we now name aloud or in our hearts. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Hear our grateful thanksgivings for all the gifts and blessings of our lives, especially the birth of Matthew Abel Bennett, son of Sasha Bennett, the work of our flower guild, altar guild, and choirs, and any other thanksgivings we now name aloud or in our hearts. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Receive into, into your eternal arms those who have died in faith, especially Ken Steele, Vandy Sutherland, Garland Tynes, those in whose memory the Christmas greenery and poinsettias are given, and any others we now name aloud or in our hearts. Glory to God in the highest heaven. And peace to God's people on earth. Loving God, the joyful message of the angels fills us with gladness as we celebrate the coming of the Christ child to live among us in vulnerable humility. Let your divine light so dwell within us that we may treasure your words, ponder them in our hearts, and continue the work of Christ's incarnation in our day. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. 
for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. Christmas and welcome. Good to see you all. Glad you are here. Welcome also to those in the parish hall. Welcome to those worshiping online. It is good that we are together. If you haven't been here in a while, we're so glad you're here today. Welcome. It is good that you are here this evening. If you aren't getting our weekly newsletter that goes out on Thursday, sign up for it. If you're here in the church, there's a connect card in the pew rack in front of you. Give us your name and your email address. If you're in the parish hall or if you're watching online, check our church's website. We would love for you to know all that's happening in this place. The only announcements that I want to make are don't forget that Sunday, not tomorrow, but the next day, Sunday, we have three services, 7.30, 8.45, and 11. But 7.30 is the only service with Eucharist and sermon. Instead, at 8.45 and 11, we sing some of our favorite Christmas hymns that we just can't quite squeeze into Christmas Eve service. So come and join us for church on Sunday. As you come forward for communion, the clergy will dip or intinct the wafer on your behalf and then drop it into your outstretched palm. If you don't want the wine, that's okay. Start with your arms crossed so that the clergy person knows not to dip the wafer into the chalice, but then hold your hands out to let us know that you do want the bread. If you prefer only to receive a blessing, just leave your arms crossed and we'll know to pray for you. But the instructions for that are written in your bulletin in that box if that seems a confusing. It is confusing. <laughs> but, but hopefully the box will help straighten it out a little bit. It is a great uh, opportunity that we have with this year's Christmas offering. Every year we collect an Easter offering and a Christmas offering to help meet the needs of the poor in our community. St. James Missionary Baptist Church, one of our partners in this community that feeds about 600 families a week, they've been offered a big grant to expand their ministry by building a commercial size cooler, and they've been offered a matching grant to whatever funds they can raise. We are active volunteers in that ministry, and everything that we give for our Christmas offering will go to that ministry and also be matched by a generous donor. So I bid your generosity with your Christmas offering. If you don't have an envelope, just write on your check a special offering or Christmas offering and we'll make sure all of it goes to support those who are hungry in our community. Whoever you are and wherever you are on your pilgrimage of faith, you are welcome in this place and you are welcome at God's table. Ascribe to God the honor due God's name, bring offerings and come into God's courts.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only Son, to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where, with Mary and Joseph and Paul and Martin and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Almighty God, who sent the Son to take our nature upon him, bless you in this holy season. Scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your heart with the light of holiness. May God, who sent the angels to proclaim the glad news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. May God, who in the Word made flesh joined heaven to earth, and earth to heaven give you God's peace and favor and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever amen, amen. go in peace to love and serve the Lord Thanks.